he plays with a little bit of bite. He plays with a little bit of a chip on his shoulder. Where does all that come from? Like, I can't imagine you were kind of ingraining that in his head when he was five years old. Is that just his personality that, that kind of comes out when he's on the ice? Yeah, I'd like to think, Matt, if I was a forward, I would have been this big power forward that was running guys <laughs> over and teeing off on guys and fighting everybody. But yeah. um, I don't know, man. I To be honest with you, he's um, – he, he's always been a, an aggressive kid who uh, who loves sports, who always loved competing. And I think, you know, that's just what comes out in you, you know, when you want to, when you want to win and you find the thing that I'm proud of is that, you know, I think, we, you know, when you're coming up as a, as a youth hockey player, you know, you're, everybody's in, uh, in love with speed and skill in the NHL, and which is great. It, it's, it is the speed and skill of these guys is so far superior to what we've seen 25 years ago, yeah. but not every kid is Connor McDavid, you know, like you have to find your, what makes you go. And I think he started to realize one that, you know, he enjoyed working out. So the off ice stuff was taken care of. Like he likes working out. Yeah. That's uh, he's, huge. He's physically mature uh, that way. So I think he got a lot of confidence that way. And he realized that when he got on the ice, he could use that strength and power to, you know, kind of do what he wanted to do out there and, and kind of play to his strengths. And mm. I think, of course, he'd love to be, you know, Connor McDavid some nights and skate through the whole team and uh, tuck it through his legs and put it top shelf and do it at a million miles an hour. But yeah, uh, that's not who he is. And he's found out what he is. And I think he's embraced it. And I think he enjoys watching guys like Matthew Kachuk and Brady Kachuk and Tom Wilson and these guys and J Josh Anderson all, as well. And yeah. Wants, wants to be like those guys. I'm not saying he is those guys, but there are times when he plays like there, there's a, you see, you see uh, that side of his game that, that comes out. And um, you know, I yeah. think it's, I think it's a valuable uh, uh, tool to have. Yeah. And I think his timing is incredible because, you know, as you and I came into the league, when we did, you had at least two big heavyweights, right. On every team. Yeah. So if you played that hard nosed role and you happen to be a bit of a skilled guy too, it was hard to really impose your will on anybody because you knew someone was going to come knocking on your back. Right. <laughs> but I feel like players like Tyler, like your son and, and the Tom Wilson's out there now, really, there aren't a whole lot of answers for them out there anymore. Right. So they can really just right. have at it on the ice and get away with it. So to, to add to your point, I, I feel like there's a, a really big place for them now in the league and they can just have at it. They can impose their will and they don't have to fight some big mutant for no reason. anymore. Right. So I, I feel like that role is incredibly effective. So I wasn't surprised when they drafted him to me, it was like, perfect. He's going to fit in perfect with the culture in this team. So I agree with you in that. And it's the perfect time for that player to come into the NHL and be effective right away. Yeah, and I, I totally agree. And I think, you know, everybody kind of, you know, they want to look at point totals and stuff like that with with prospects that are coming up. And I and I get it. And some guys are, you know, they they put up a lot of points, but yeah. I, you you and I know that when you're when you're in a team setting and you're in a playoff series, you know, there are certain intangibles to a team that are valuable. And I yeah. think uh the way you play, the style with which your team plays, I think all these things are very important in the identity of your team. And it seems to me like you know, when I'm just an outsider looking in, I, I don't claim to be an Ottawa Senators expert by any stretch. I, I really haven't done a lot of their games because I was in yeah. the States, but I watched him play and DJ Smith, especially in the second half of the season, it seemed, there was an identity to their club. They're hard to play. I against, agree. Right. And Brady Kachuk is like the, you know, is he, he's leading the charge with that, you know, and I think that fits right into Tyler's game and the way he wants to play. So I think it's a nice fit. Um, yeah. You know, I don't think you can have 20 of those guys on your team. You have to have a blend of players. And that's I think that's what makes uh, championship teams is you find the right the right chemistry. But I think it's so valuable now because, like you said, you don't really you don't have those guys that you have to worry about uh, night in and night out. Yeah. Comparisons aren't always fair or even valid. But you brought up Tom Wilson, Josh Anderson, a few of those guys. Are you OK with the comparison to Tom Wilson? Do you think that that's fair, valid? Uh, I mean, I don't know about like a direct comparison, but I mean, if you're looking yeah. to, you know, if, 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 a, if a fan hasn't seen a player play, I think, you know, when you're dra in a draft setting, I think if you're just trying to paint a picture, like, so the fan can understand who this kid is, I think it's fair to do in that sense, but it's not fair to Tom Wilson for all the work that he's put in and who he is to you know, say that an 18 year old kid is him. Like it's right. not, you know, Tom right. Wilson is, is his own player. And Tom Wilson, uh, you know, has earned 
uh, you know, his stake in the NHL uh, for what he's done. And, uh, you know, for the record, I love Tom Wilson and I love the way he plays. And yeah. I know that might uh, upset some people. I, to me, if you're a Capitals fan, you love Tom Wilson. If you're not a Capitals fan, you hate Tom Wilson. Yeah. Uh, to, and to me, that's uh, that's a compliment. Yeah, I, I couldn't think I mean, of one I'm... NHL team that wouldn't want Tom Wilson on their hockey club. I think that's Correct. that's that's really the end of the discussion right there. Would yeah. you want him on your team? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. And for five million, yeah, you would. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I think is he at five million? Like it's a it, to me, it's a it's a bargain. I mean, for what he brings, uh, and he can play. This is not, he's not, he's not a guy that can't play. So that's why I have a ton of respect for him. And I don't want to, I don't want to disrespect him by saying that my, my son or anybody else is Tom Wilson. They're all their own player. But if you, I guess if you're just looking for some comparisons, I think it's, I think it's fair.